step back into the vibrant era of 70 Seconds Television with Macmillan and Wife, a classic series that seamlessly blends mystery and comedy. Premiering in the early 70 Seconds, the show centers on the dynamic duo of police commissioner Stuart Macmillan and his quick-witted wife, Sally, as they navigate crime-solving adventures in San Francisco. The charm of the show lies in its clever plots and the endearing chemistry between the lead characters, creating a delightful viewing experience for audiences. Perhaps you recall a specific scene or moment from the series that left a lasting impression on you. Maybe it's the clever sleuthing tactics of the Macmillans or the witty banter that defines their relationship. Or do you hold a cherished memory associated with watching this show? Whether it's cozy family evenings gathered around the TV or relishing in the amusing escapades of the crime-solving couple, Macmillan and wife often weaves itself into cherished moments of nostalgia. We're curious about your most treasured memory or personal experience connected to this iconic series. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear your unique connections to this classic show. Macmillan and Wife, a classic detective series from the early 1970s, centered around the charming and astute San Francisco police commissioner, Stuart Macmillan, and his resourceful wife, Sally. The show seamlessly blended mystery with a touch of humor, presenting a unique dynamic between the clever amateur detective Sally and her husband, whose professional role added depth to their crime-solving escapades. The duo's chemistry and witty banter were at the heart of the show, fostering an endearing and entertaining partnership that captivated audiences. Originating in an era known for its detective dramas, Macmillan and Wife distinguished itself with its emphasis on the marital relationship of the protagonists, a departure from the usual lone investigator trope. Set against the picturesque backdrop of San Francisco, the show's narratives were filled with intriguing murder mysteries, often requiring Sally's unconventional yet effective approach to complement Macmillan's official expertise. The characters became icons of the era, with Rock Hudson's portrayal of Commissioner Macmillan exuding charm and sophistication, while Susan St. James' portrayal of Sally brought a blend of intelligence and humor to the screen. Their interactions, complemented by a supporting cast that added depth and humor, contributed to the show's lasting impact. Macmillan and Wife left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent detective shows by showcasing a married couple's dynamic in solving crimes. Its unique blend of mystery, humor, and spousal camaraderie earned it a special place in the hearts of viewers, cementing its legacy as a beloved classic in television history. Martha Ray, known for her earlier appearances as Agatha before becoming a regular on the show, brought a distinct energy to the series. Her transition from occasional appearances to a consistent role added depth to the character dynamics, contributing significantly to the evolving narrative. This shift in the character's presence within the storyline highlights the show's adaptability and willingness to integrate new elements seamlessly. Ray's contribution from sporadic guest spots to a regular role underscores the show's commitment to developing its ensemble cast. The evolution of Agatha's character mirrored the show's ability to organically incorporate new elements into its established framework, keeping the audience engaged without disrupting the familiar essence of the series. This seamless integration of characters is a testament to the show's adeptness at maintaining its narrative flow while introducing fresh elements. Nancy Walker, renowned for her role in Rhoda, graced the series in its latter phases. Simultaneously, Sally's quirky nightwear choice, an authentic 1970s San Francisco 49ers jersey, brought a distinctive charm to many episodes. Sporting number 18, it belonged to Gene Washington, a celebrated 49ers wide receiver of that era. Washington, a standout player with numerous Pro Bowl appearances, made a memorable cameo in a Season 4 episode, Guilt by Association. This series, drawing inspiration from the Thin Man films, navigated the crime-solving escapades of a clever duo akin to the famed detective couple, albeit with its unique twist. Nancy Walker's contribution and Sally's iconic nightwear added nuances to the show's narrative, elevating its appeal and leaving a lasting imprint on television history. Rock Hudson, though portraying Sally's husband on the show, was actually 21 years older than Susan St. James. Despite their on-screen chemistry, Hudson initially felt that the TV show was a step down from his previous stardom, and wasn't keen on the scripts. He later changed his perspective upon realizing the show's lasting impact, 
and how fondly it was remembered by viewers. He even joked about trying harder. This dynamic between the lead actors sheds light on the behind-the-scenes perspective of a show that captivated audiences, proving that sometimes, initial reservations can turn into appreciation over time. Nancy Walker's absence in the final season was a nod to her character, Mildred, who quit and moved east to open a diner. It was an inside joke, referring to Walker's appearances as Rosie the waitress in Bounty Paper Towels commercials. Interestingly, while similar NBC mystery movie series like Columbo and McCloud had subsequent TV adventures, this series didn't. Why? Well, Rock Hudson's passing just eight years after the show ended due to AIDS, and Susan St. James' character being written off because of her character's plane crash death tied up the story neatly. That's how the show wrapped, no follow-up adventures. Intriguing, huh? It's like they closed the book on that era of detective duos. Both Susan St. James and Nancy Walker left the show at the end of the 1975 to 1976 season. St. James departed due to a contract dispute, while Walker had signed with ABC. Their exits marked a significant transition for the series, impacting its ensemble dynamics and storyline direction. Their absence in the subsequent season altered the show's chemistry, prompting a shift in character interactions and narrative focus. These departures reshaped the trajectory of the series, influencing its final seasons and concluding arcs. The departure of both St. James and Walker at the close of the 1975 to 1976 season signaled a pivotal moment for the show's evolution. St. James' departure due to a contract dispute and Walker's move to ABC led to significant changes in character dynamics and storylines, marking a notable transition in the series' trajectory. Their absence in subsequent seasons altered the show's dynamics, prompting shifts in character interactions and narrative focus. These departures reshaped the series, influencing its final seasons and concluding arcs. In 1971, Rock Hudson, then 46, and Susan St. James, 25, formed an on-screen duo in the TV series Macmillan and Wife. Despite the age gap, the public didn't seem bothered, accustomed to seeing Hudson as a leading man to younger actresses. Hudson, initially reluctant about the series, citing television's voracious appetite, later admitted undervaluing it after watching a repeat post-finale. He pondered why he didn't invest more effort. The show, initially an escape from unimpressive film offers, grew to earn his retrospective respect. Rock Hudson's character, Commissioner McMillan, had a Naval Reserve's background as a JAG officer, adding a unique facet to the detective narrative. The series, birthed from Hudson's dissatisfaction with film roles, turned into a significant chapter in his career. Hudson's initial skepticism, reflective of his broader view on television, evolved into appreciation, marking Macmillan and Wife as more than just a stint in his acting portfolio. As Macmillan and Wife unfolded, the age dynamics between Hudson and St. James became inconsequential to the audience. Hudson's shift from skepticism to acknowledgement mirrored the series' journey unexpectedly integral in the landscape of 70 Seconds Television. A Macmillan and Wife narrative, blending detective intrigue with marital dynamics, overcame initial doubts, becoming a timeless piece in the era's TV history. As we bid adieu to the adventures woven into the fabric of Macmillan and Wife, take a moment to let the nostalgia settle. This classic series, a gem from the vaults of television history, has not just graced our screens, it has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of our memories. Perhaps it's the charm of Commissioner McMillan with his sharp wit and detective prowess, or the delightful dynamic he shares with his savvy spouse. In this era of television, where stories are fleeting, McMillan and Wife stands as a testament to enduring storytelling, where crime-solving meets domestic intrigue in perfect harmony. As we part ways with this beloved series, we invite you to reminisce. What moments struck a chord with you? Was it the clever plot twists, the chemistry between the characters, or the unmistakable 70 seconds flair that transported you to a different time? Share your musings, your laughter-inducing recollections, and the scenes that etched themselves into your heart. These shared memories create a bond, weaving together fans hove embarked on this journey through the streets of San Francisco alongside Macmillan and wife. Your stories are the living testament to the show's impact, proving that even in the vast landscape of television, certain tales resonate and endure.
So, dear viewer, as we lower the curtain on this chapter, take a moment to share your reflections. Let your voice join the collective symphony of appreciation for the timeless magic that is Macmillan and wife. Your stories are the continuation of the narrative, the echo of laughter, and suspense that will forever linger in the air. Thank you for revisiting this classic with us, for sharing your thoughts, and for being a part of the ever-growing community that celebrates the enduring legacy of Macmillan and wife. Until we meet again in the realms of shared nostalgia, thank you for your time and interest in this journey through television history.